It's recommended to update the firmware of your Engine 3 AutoGuider from time to time. Not only because an update offers new functionalities, it also can improve current software functions. Such an update includes the following steps. First, you need to register on the support webpage. This is a one-time only step. Second, you need to register your engine hardware. This also needs to be done only once. You need to download a key file, the firmware itself and an installation software. The last step then is actually the upload of the firmware to your engine autoguider. I will now guide you to the process step by step. Navigate to the support webpage support.engine-autoguider.com If you're not already registered, click on register. Enter a valid email, a password, enter your password a second time and answer the security question. You will now automatically be redirected to the login page where you can log in now with your currently chosen email and password. Now you see the start menu, click on my devices and in the upper right on register your device. First, you need to enter the Engine Device ID number, which you will find in your Engines menu under Options slash System. The serial key is printed on the backside of your engine or on your camera. Click Register and you'll see the following. Right click on key file and save as to a folder of your choice. The key file will be renewed each day, so this step is mandatory. Click on support in the upper right to get back to the start screen. Click on firmware language files to navigate to the current firmware. Right click on the zip file and save as to the same folder you've chosen before. Open the folder, right click and extract all. Now you need to download the Updater application. To do so, navigate back to the Start menu and click on Applications Developer Area. Click on the Updater .exe file and save as to the same folder as before. For communication of your PC with your engine, you need to download the FTDI driver. You will find it under www.ftdichip.com slash drivers slash d2xx.htm. Scroll down a bit. On the right side in the first row, you will find the entry Setup Executable. Right click again and save as. Open the folder in which the driver was saved to. Right click on the driver and extract all. Again right click and choose run as administrator. Now follow the installation instructions. At this point you have all you need to start the firmware update. Connect the camera to your engine and connect the engine itself to your computer. Start your engine and navigate to Options, Shutdown, Boot. Set the cursor to Stop Boot and push the Set button. On your computer double click on Updater.exe. When the software has started, click on the three dots and enter your firmware and your key file one by another.
Make sure both boxes are checked here and click on update firmware. Congratulations, it's done. Navigate to start firmware and push the set button to confirm. The engine will do a reboot and then the firmware is active in your device. Thank you for watching and happy guiding!